everyone, welcome. My name's Jess and this is my channel Jess's Modern Life. So I thought I'd give you guys a bit of an update for my second trimester. So I'm currently 26 weeks pregnant. I believe the third trimester starts at 28 weeks, so almost there. It's been the longest pregnancy ever. I feel like I've been pregnant my whole life, but yeah, that's a whole nother thing. <laughs> um, yeah, so I thought I'd give you guys an update on how my second trimester was, um, what's been going on with me, and what sort of kind of symptoms I've been having, and all that sort of thing. So I thought I'd start off talking a little bit about my 20-week scan. So usually that's, um, yeah, that's kind of, I guess, a big milestone for a lot of people. So that's when you find out the gender, um, also they just check Basically, I think all the organs are all there, ready to go. Um, everything just kind of gets bigger. So, 20-week uh, scan was good. Um, at our 12-week scan, they did actually say that it was a girl, um, which is interesting because my last pregnancy, they did not tell me that early. And I think they kind of try not to, to get your hopes up, but the um, ultrasound technician sounded pretty confident. So. I guess um, <laughs> it was pretty obvious. Um, and then I had an appointment with my OBGYN a couple of weeks later, and he also said a girl. But you know, we were waiting for the 20 week to kind of confirm it. And yes, it's another girl. Super exciting. Um, I definitely had a gut feeling that I would have two girls. So it wasn't much of a surprise for me. I wish I kind of kept more of like stuff to be honest, but um, you know, there's still a decent amount of clothes I can kind of pass over to the new baby and that sort of thing. She's going to be getting leftovers and handovers her, her whole life, but <laughs> she'll be right. I did it. Um, yeah, so 20 weeks game was good. I'm part of like a pregnancy mums group on Facebook and it seems to be a thing in America where they talk about the size of the baby. Um, I don't know how much it weighed. I don't know how, how long she is, um, but everything was normal. So sweet. Um, so that was really good. Um, another, I guess, test or um, medical thing that you have to get done in your second trimester was a gestational diabetes test. So I got that done at 25 weeks. Um, so the first time I did it with Blake, I remember it being super rough. Like I was, I was struggling with life. I was in the waiting room, just feeling super nauseous, just crappy. Um, but this time it actually went really well. So I did have my appointment first thing in the morning. So um, I didn't realize like the pathologist opened at 6 a.m., which to me is crazy. But um, we are amidst the COVID pandemic. So um, the fact that I could get in that early, I ended up getting there at 6.30 um, was awesome because there was basically nobody there. So I didn't have to worry about waiting around with tons of other people. Um, but I definitely think it made a difference going first thing in the morning. Um, obviously you're fasting all night, but the fact that I got to eat again by, you know, 8.39, it wasn't, wasn't so far off my normal routine. I mean, I usually eat breakfast about 6.30 as opposed to last time I did it with Blake. I think my appointment was like 9am, so I didn't eat till like 11 and my blood sugar guys, I need to eat. This girl gets hangry. Um, it was just not a good time. So yeah, this one was good. Um, haven't got my results yet because I'll, I'll get it when I see my OBGYN, um, in a couple of weeks time. I assume it's fine. I probably would have got a call up, but if it's not, we'll deal with it. We'll make it happen. Another thing about second trimester, I started getting out of breath talking. <laughs> so nothing makes you feel more unfit than when you get out of breath talking. It's insane. Um, I'm gonna blame it on a big baby. Um, <laughs> who knows? Um, Cause I have actually been fairly active this pregnancy. Ish, ish. Um, obviously the gyms are shut because of COVID, which sucks. Um, I do prefer to go out to a gym. I like to use the equipment, the leg press, all that sort of jazz. Um, I do have some weights at home. So I have been doing a weight session one or two times a week down in my garage. Um, look, it's not the same. I have been doing kind of more booty bands and stretches and kind of yoga type stuff. I'm trying to kind of prepare myself for labor based off what Pinterest tells me. 
Um, so I've been doing, you know, like lots of squats and hip opening moves and, and actually really focusing on my back as well, because I remember, you know, it just happens like third trimester, your back gets sore, you're carrying this gigantic watermelon in the front of you. Um, yeah, so I've been really trying to do back stretches as well. So, so far my back's been pretty good. So that's good. Um, yeah, I mean, I've still gained a decent amount of weight. And so I feel like there's on this mother's group, like I said, on this pregnancy group, people literally ask like three times a day how much weight you've gained. I don't know. It's a, it's a big topic of discussion. I'm sure people are interested. So, um, currently at 26 weeks, I've gained 9.5 kilos, which is a decent amount. Um, <laughs> I feel like, oh yeah, sorry, as well as doing weights, I've also been going for walks most days, just so me and Blake can get out of the house. Um, yeah, and stretching a few times a week. So I have been fairly active, but so has my mouth. So I've been eating <laughs> quite a bit. Um, I tend not to kind of restrict myself when I'm pregnant. Like I try not to eat like an idiot, but I also, um, if I really feel like a craving and I, I feel like I want it, then I'm going to have it. Especially because I have a toddler and I can't have wine at the end of the day. So, ice cream it is. Um, I'm not feeling horrible about that 9 kilo, 10 kilo weight gain. Um, because I didn't have any real morning sickness in the first trimester. Not bad, but I could still eat. Um, so I think a, a lot of times women don't gain that much weight up until now because they kind of lost weight in the first trimester or didn't gain, whereas I did gain in the first trimester. Um, I've kind of plateaued over the past kind of three weeks. I haven't really gained anything. So fingers crossed I can kind of slow everything down. Um, ideally, I'm thinking 15 kilos is achievable for me weight gain wise. So last pregnancy, I think I gained like 22 kilos. Um, which for all my American viewers out there in pounds, I don't know what it is, but it's a lot. 50, 45, it's a lot. Um, and I really don't want to have to lose all that weight again. And I really don't want to have to kind of be carrying that extra weight around either. So, so yeah, I've kind of just been trying to make more sensible choices, um, not give into cravings as much and really focusing on nutrient dense foods. Um, because now, exciting stuff, baby has taste buds. So, if I'm going to be eating ice cream all the time, I'm going to have to deal with an incredibly fussy child. So, I'm getting in those veggies. Fingers crossed, something will translate through the placenta. And um, she'll be a good eater like Blake. But, we'll see what happens. So, in terms of other symptoms for the second trimester, I've actually been super lucky. Um, you know, I'm not getting heartburn or you know headaches or varicose veins or anything like that yet um let me just check yeah i mean the main thing is i've been a little bit tired which i think is just standard life especially with a toddler stuck at home it's just really draining um and i've what and i have been working so doing night shifts so obviously that throws thing out of whack as well um yeah, a little bit of lower back pain, but otherwise doing pretty good. So I'm really happy with how I'm progressing, I guess, symptom wise. And again, I think um, the fact that I'm trying to keep exercising and eating healthier has hopefully been keeping some of those other symptoms at bay. Um, I am taking some supplements. So I did see a naturopath in my first trimester, um, really got in a good prenatal um, and some probiotics. So. Those are the two things I've been taking. I am going to start taking fish oils in my third trimester, but I'll kind of get more into that with the third trimester update. Cravings. So I actually haven't been having a lot of cravings. I feel like I've been having quite diverse diet. Um, I have probably ice cream is the biggest one. So I haven't really been craving many like lollies or, you know, chips or burgers. I've been pretty good at eating the meals that I make. Um, it's just been ice cream I've been digging. Same thing with Blake, crave dairy, don't know why. Um, so that's probably the biggest thing I can think of. Um, otherwise there's not kind of one thing that stands out. I mean, fresh fruit has been amazing. It's been hard to come by just with the season at the moment. 
and all the droughts and floods that happened in Australia. Um, I mean, I'd kill for like some really good strawberries or a pineapple, but I'm not gonna spend five dollars for a punnet. Not worth it. Um, yeah, so no real cravings. I mean, I'm still having caffeine, so I did actually cut it out in my first pregnancy with Blake. Um, I guess I was just like a little bit paranoid. Um, and I just cut it out completely in the first trimester and never got back into it. Um, I did cut down significantly in this pregnancy in my first trimester, just because there's correlations that it could be linked to early miscarriage. I don't know, guys, but just to be safe, I just cut down anyway. Um, but I need it. I need it. Especially when you're doing night, night shifts and toddler and sometimes not having enough sleep. I have been having caffeine. Um, maximum dosage I can have so I think it's like 200 milligrams so that I have also been enjoying. So I thought I'd talk a little bit about Blake. Um, obviously having a child already and kind of them adjusting to a new child can be a bit difficult. Um, thankfully she's been really great so far so we do talk about the baby quite a bit so we <laughs> This is just going to sound ridiculous, but <laughs> so Blake, we called Boopy when I was pregnant with her. So basically it's like, you know, when something kicks like boop, boop, boop. Anyway, Boopy. Um, so this one being baby number two, we've called Troopy. So <laughs> Blake does talk about Troopy quite a bit, um, which is really sweet. So um, we'll go walking and we'll all hold hands and Blake will say, you know, mommy, daddy, Blake and Troopy. Um... So I think she's starting to understand that she is going to be a part of the family. Um, we do have two really great books. Um, one which I bought, one which I got from the library that I feel have kind of been explaining what's going on, um, getting her a bit excited and she just loves reading. So I find that's a really good platform to communicate with her. Um, so I feel like that's been helping. We have... Um, I mean, we are kind of talking about some things being two piece now. So the fact that Blake just got a big girl bed and we've put the cot into the baby's new room, um, sometimes she'll struggle to understand that that's not mine now, that's two piece. Um, so that, I think the sharing will be a big issue. Um, she hasn't been particularly clingy to me any more than usual, which is awesome. So I think. She's not a particularly clingy child anyway. She is quite independent. She, um, we have really tried to instill independent play in her. Um, I guess kind of the confidence, hopefully the confidence that, you know, that we're that always going to be there and, you know, she doesn't need to worry about that and she doesn't need to be you know, clinging to us at all times. So, so far she's been really good with that, but I understand when a baby comes, it's going to be all different just mentally preparing myself for it. So we'll see what happens with that. As I mentioned, we have, yeah, organized Blake's big girl bed and we have um, started the nursery. I'm quite minimalist, guys. I'm not gonna do like a big, pretty nursery. I love it, don't get me wrong. That's awesome, everyone that's doing it. Um, it's just, I'm just really careful where I invest my money. Um, and I realize that those things are for me and I'd prefer to spend my money elsewhere, if that makes sense. The baby's not going to care about a fancy room and let's, let's be real. It's for us because we like it and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Um, but I am being a bit more cautious with my money because I do want to have a decent stint of maternity leave. So, you know, you got to make sacrifices. So, um, I will show you guys the finished nursery in my trimester three video, um, but we're really just kind of starting it off for now. Um, we do have some things left over for when Blake was a baby, so that's good. Um, so it shouldn't get, be too much to get. They have been nesting a little bit, a little bit excited. Um, it kind of hit me a couple of weeks ago and I went and got a bunch of baby clothes. Um, this baby will be born in a different season to Blake, so there's not a lot of clothes that can kind of overlap. So yeah, got a bit excited with that. Uh, definitely makes me feel a bit more calm if I get, um, yeah, the baby stuff organized. So that was good to kind of have the opportunity to do that in where, where we live in, a, in Australia and in Queensland. Um, we are allowed to shop for non-essentials now. So that's kind of made it a bit easier to be able to get, um, yeah, get things for the baby. So that's been really exciting. 
Um, I've tried to, again, not go crazy with clothes. I did with Blake. I got some just ridiculous things that I, you'd take a photo of once, but like, <laughs> like I got this sequined tutu halter. I don't even know for Blake when she was a baby. I took some photos in it and let's be real, she never wore it. Um, so I am trying to be practical this time. Um, not as fun, but yeah, it, it kind of just makes more sense. <laughs> so I thought I'd show you guys uh, a little bump update. This is the bump at 26 weeks. Don't mind the dirty laundry in the background. Sam likes to hang his clothes up on the railing. Don't ask me why, it drives me bonkers. Yeah, so that's my bump. So I think she's gonna be a big girl. That's all from me guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, make sure to check me out on Instagram. So the details will be in my bio. Um, so you can see all my little bump updates and keep up to date with all my baby clothing hauls and all the exciting stuff like that. Um, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.